Hey King, Christmas is coming up. Are you ready for it? Oh yeah, we have so many games to play, tons of food, we have a bunch of family traditions, and oh, so many presents. It's gonna be so much fun. Dang, it sounds like you're gonna be busy. Oh yeah, big time. What are you doing to celebrate the birth of Jesus, though? Oh, um... Maybe we can do, do it after gifts. Oh, mm, no. That's when we're doing the games. Uh, maybe before we eat. No, that's when we're doing Christmas carols. It sounds like you're having a hard time fitting him into your plans. Yeah, I have so much going on, I just... I don't know when it will happen. What if all of your plans for Christmas got messed up? What did you do? Did you buy all the pumpkin pies again? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I, I just mean, like, what if God had something else in mind for you to do, and your plans got ruined? Well, that would be horrible. I don't know what I would do. Why would God do something like that? Well, if you don't have the time to fit him into your Christmas plans, what if God made that time for the holiday to be about him? It's a trap! Why does this feel like a trap? <laughs> it's not a trap, I promise. Well, I guess that would make sense. I mean, if he's trying to tell me something. King, what is Christmas all about? Well, Jesus' birth, of course. Shouldn't he be the main focus of all of the things that we're wanting to do around Christmas time? Um, well, yeah. This is a great example of what we're talking about in service today. Sometimes we have our own plans. We have our own ideas about how things are going to go or what we're going to do or how we're going to do things. But God calls us to be different. He calls us to live according to his plans, his purposes, in his way of doing things. But we have a hard time letting those things go. Is that kind of like what you were saying about Christmas? Yeah, but it applies to all of our lives. If God has, a pl has plans for you, plan his plans are better than anything you can even dream of. So shouldn't we let him show us how to get there, no matter how much we have to let go of? Well, yeah. Think of it like our Christmas story. Herod was the king in Judea, and when he heard from the wise men that there was this new king in Bethlehem, Herod got very angry because he was king, and he did not want to share power with anyone. But you know who that king was? It was Jesus. Exactly. Herod has had his own idea of how his life was supposed to look like, and he didn't care what God was doing and he didn't want to let God have any part of it. But God's way is always better than our ways, right? Well, of course. I think I see what you're saying. My Christmas traditions and the games, are, they're not bad, but that God needs to be the focus and that I need to make him a priority, not just on Christmas, but in every aspect of my life. That's exactly right. Sounds like we're gonna have some new family traditions Back to the drawing board. Well, guys, that's all the time we got for today. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye now. <laughs>